real world experiences, time management, resume builder, and networking are important reasons to have an internship in UT. But do you know that summer internship has different requirements? UT students are lucky to have summer internships which might be in or outside of campus. I think the internship opportunities that they provide us here are way better than any of the schools that I, I have a lot of friends that go to schools around here and they don't get near the same opportunities that we do. We spoke with the Associate Director of Career Services to find the differences towards summer internships. Um, so summer internships are typically 12 weeks in duration, that's the full so, um, semester term if a student's enrolling their internship for academic credit. Um, if a student's not doing the internship for academic credit, then they can essentially start and stop whenever they want to. Um, however, if they are doing it for credit or if they're doing it through CPT, it has to be within the summer semester duration. Um, in the summer of 2017, 193 students completed an internship for academic credit at the University of Tampa. We found that summer internships differ by department, credit, and based on what the major is. But is it worth 500 or more? So I was lucky enough to do an internship this summer back home. I love that I could take it through UT with credit. It was really great. I just don't like the fact that I had to pay so much money to take it for credit. I feel like it should be a reduced fee in the summer because you're not paying for tuition. So it's really um, an expense because you're not paying for the semester. So you have to like pay out of pocket just to take an experience. UT TV talked to the Associate Director Office of Financial Aid to know what they offer for a student who is planning to have internship during summer. So any student who has a question about whether or not financial aid can cover an internship, they can come and talk to us, see their assigned financial aid counselor, and we'll take a look at each student individually and their situation, what class that they're enrolled in or not enrolled in, and give them some help whether they need to start saving money now to pay for the internship and pay for living expenses over the summer. Even though the differences are not so difficult, you should start saving money because summer internship might not be covered by financial aid. Amal Ishrami, UTTV, Spy News.